All right, what's up, dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to another episode of Kind of Cool Dudes. I'm Dalton, and I'm Todd, and we are playing Borderlands, the pre-sequel, not Borderlands 2. Or not Borderlands 2. Any how or dare you? I want a public apology. So in the last episode, I may have confused the two because they are similar. Yeah, it, not even the first boss is similar. This is Flame Knuckle, and the other one, it was Knuckle. And ice, ice. So actually, that is uh, that's pretty cool. Son of a little, little, little uh, kind of cool guys tip here. Weak on the back. That's, wait, it's not done. There we go. Here, all the, all the yeah. Damn, he doesn't want to even hit me. Yeah, what is this? I don't know. Is I mean, he is going after Jack, but like, super crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, no. It's sweet. I thought the first boss was. Dude, no way! You can't hope to win! Oh, yeah, he's the first fight. Unfortunately, this guy does drop a legendary, and I say unfortunately because if you don't get it here, you can't go back to this boss. He does respawn, so you can, like, start the game over. Oh, but you have to, like, totally start over with it. Yeah, you have to... If you don't get it here, you have to save and quit and come back to get it. Luckily, he drops a pretty shitty weapon anyway. It's the Nukem. Which isn't that good in this game. Or in the first one. Also, I just died. And I'm at that. And I'm at that. <laughs> I guess the boss then. Oh, oh, no, we're good. You were literally like, saying this is Yeah, easy. It only... Well, he is. That's my shield going Luckily, he spawns with a bunch of weak dudes. Not an option. Yeah, I was out of the I will not call here. Oh, we can shut it back. This man, I mean, I'm so close to 12 damage. That was a lot of 12 damage. All right, he did not drop this much. Well, you just That's said fine. Sucks. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, it would have been cool to have a legendary too. The newcomer is the uh, missile launcher that launches. Man, that guy <laughs> right. really likes fire. Yeah. Pretty much the fuck you and everyone around. Let's go. Yeah, but including yourself, so, including yeah. yes. Yeah. All right. So Jack is not so. There's going to be an elevator scene coming up, and he is not so great at going up elevators. However, I've never actually played this on the, the Anson collection. I'm used to playing it on the computer. Let's go, elevator. Um, hopefully you'll see what I mean. I'm curious. Does he like well or something like that? Have you seen the movie Devil? Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, that. I think that he's tremendously underrated. He's pretty good. Let me look the motor terminal. That was like the time in M. Night Shemlin's career. Where they stopped putting his name on things to advertise it. So yes. You would only oh, that's true. After you finish the movie. The yeah. Version, right. That's true. That uh, After oh, Earth also. Roger. Uh, after Earth, Earth was that the one with Will Smith? I'm yeah. in, Jack. I heard that one's not so on, great. I'm spend the I time. actually really enjoyed it. I know that a lot of people think, honestly, I just don't get why. They Will Smith's son is not like the most powerful actor. He was great in Pursuit of Happiness. So I, so. That's true. I will have to say. But yeah, I mean... Wait, wasn't he also the crowd killer? Was that? Yes. Yeah, that was yeah. good. That was, he was good in that too, actually. Yeah. I, I think it was just that once he appeared in the camera. Yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah, no big deal, though. They also, I think this melee weapon is there. a sword, which is awesome. Oh, these loaders bum me out. It's no wonder Dalton took yeah. over oh, so shield? easily. No, the sword is being... No, I don't see that. Like, you know, she's like swinging the sword. All right. Aw, dang it. He's actually good at that. Alright, normally on the PC at least, he goes all the way to this edge and halfway into the wall. <laughs> and he's like talking to you while this is going on. You're just like, uh, we just gotta get into can I say that? I like how the immersive, uh, vending machine is tremendously false advertising. <laughs> she looks very anime there. Yeah. Why am I? Oh, right, there's a guy. <laughs> Got this Jack. Did we actually let him out? Well, he's supposed to come out and start shooting Jack, and then you kill him right after that. 
No, he was like, no, kill that guy. Oh, man, you're late. Yeah, I'd suggest like Athena, okay. but I need John Opus. You're the way. only person oh, that I can trust to save the space station. Roger, I'll find a way to save Helios. You won't have died in vain. If you die. All right, your plan. I'll stay behind. I need you down on the moon. You gotta find that jamming signal and shit. Jacob's assault rifle. Right. We'll never get control of the moon base if we can kiss that ball. Yes. You're really staying? You'll likely die. But there's there's no way you can back. Push it. There's no way you can push it this fast. And their damage doesn't make up. Oh no no no! You have you ever seen it? Might want to grab some ammo too. Supplies over here. Yeah, but even then, that's not as fast as this. It's fast. It's not 9.7 bullets per second. Empties the trigger. Breaks the controller. Yeah, this part's a little slow. Yeah, we're we'll waiting. Uh, Jack's getting the uh, space gun ready. Yeah, this is where it breaks Well, I mean, he, he does save you. Like, so the like, go to the moon and I'll stay here. Right. It's really not that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Do you see the people? Hide. It's a really They're there to literally big. kill him. Yeah, it's a really big spaceship. Guy who murdered my boyfriend. But watch, watch, watch in the cutscene. Like hell. Whether his decision was heroic or true. Oh, this is not being like, what? Well, Jack being a hero? But bullshit. Stayed behind to the pod, it's like, oh, but I would have died if I stayed behind. No story of making him Jack kind of sympathetic. Don't think leveling up is an actual. Whenever you're ready, I'll shoot you to Concordia. It's the biggest town you know, on Opus. You know why? There's someone there who can help you find that jamming signal. Why is that? What? Well, anyway. I mean, I like him as a villain. Yeah, no, like, that's. I like his character. Obviously, I want to be, like, friends with him in real life or anything. But... See, like, right here, he's getting attacked. I don't want to out you on, on YouTube. No, but you true. have said. Or the right, you would have sex because of that. I mean, I mean, if you're a heterosexual man who's willing to have sex with another man, man. <laughs> <laughs> assuming that since you have a girlfriend, you're a heterosexual man and you're willing to have sex with another man, that kind of means you would hang out with him at least. Mm. Well, anyway, <laughs> I guess we'll just gloss over that for now. No big deal. I like your character. A lot of people don't. Really? Yeah, like a lot of people do not like uh, Springs. What? I love her. She's adorable. What I think it? it's because of her accent or something. Because she has an Australian accent. But this game was made in Australia. What? You didn't know that? Yeah, this isn't oh. Gearbox. This is uh, 2K Games Australia. Hello. Subdivision. It doesn't exist anymore. Hello. <laughs> Thought you might be salvage. But yeah, I, people don't like okay? her character. Well, You're I can answer that. that. You're not okay. The second you yeah, open this door, head. all the oxygen people, is gone, uh, and you're gonna suffocate. Well, You'll hurt compare her to uh, will pop like grapes when the pressure differential uh, gets too harsh. So truck, here's yeah. my plan. When you're ready, uh, open the door and follow me to my uh, oxygen channel. Sound good? Don't from the so. first and second game, the guy who has all the cars. Oh, scooter. GameCube scooter. Because uh, they're both like rednecks, and except she's like an Australian redneck, and he's like a, an American redneck. And yeah, both you the know, I can people. see it. Yeah, I can, I can definitely here. see it. I think that might be why I like her. And they both get hard ons for girls. Yeah. I love Scooter. I love Scooter. Don't think about the love Scooter. Scooter. Love Scooter. <laughs> don't. Don't. Just don't. Wait, how do I? How do I, I haven't played this on the controller. Oh, right, I don't have to ask you. Oh, that's cool. I didn't notice that I actually stuck in there. Also, I like how she's just like, like, I'm suffocating in space. 
Yeah. And, uh, well, not really space. And she's just like, Nearly there. come over here. Be embarrassing like, if you open die, the no. damn door already. It's like, you didn't even need to come over here. I mean, but let's be real, dude. If you were suffocating in space with your eyes open, <clears throat> your head would explode. Well, my theory is that there is atmosphere on the moon, just very thin atmosphere. Like, enough that you can survive on it for a while. It's just very uncomfortable. Everybody good? Nice to meet you. Well, we can I'm talk James more about this in this episode. Who are you? This, uh, game. I'm a Next female. episode of Kinda Cool Dudes. Well, Thank you guys yeah, for joining us, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. So what are you doing here? We need to get back to Helios Station, but we can't until we take down a jamming signal somewhere.